Living in Toronto can be very expensive. There's so much to do and so much to see. Plus, rents can be pretty high. But not to forget, Toronto is also one of the most multicultural cities in the world, making it a wonderful experience for all. Also, the price you pay is for all the opportunities that you get here. But could it be that this place is really that expensive? If you want to find out the actual cost of living in Toronto, I have the numbers you are looking for. Also, the fact that so many people still want to move and live here tells me that the quality of life justifies its high price. So in this video, we will analyze how much we spend as a couple in Toronto. And guys, this is very personal, but I think it's going to be very helpful for a lot of people who want to move to Toronto from different province or from a different country. So I thought I should expose my spending habits. No. So please don't judge. Also a quick disclaimer, I'm not recommending this for everyone. This is what I spend in a month and this is what I'm sharing. So yeah, let's not waste any time and let's get in the numbers, baby. Oh, baby. And I thought to make it interesting, I'll use my favorite thing that I love, pizza, to show you the breakdown. Pizza! So the first major chunk of my monthly spending is the rent. Yes, rent is not cheap here in Toronto at all. That's the major chunk which really is a pain to be honest. As you guys know, I stay in downtown Toronto and honestly, I got a pretty sweet deal in June 20, 2020 because this was a new building and there were a lot of units available for rent. So I stay in one bedroom plus 10 unit and yeah, it's not big, it's just a 500 square feet condo but that's what you usually get if you like plan to stay in downtown. And for this unit, I paid $2,000. And I know this is still pretty high, but this is what you will usually get. The average price for a one bedroom condo here in downtown Toronto is between 2,000 to 2,300. But right now because of COVID, obviously the prices are low. But in normal scenario, this is what you will usually pay. And this rent does not include utilities. That is extra. And I pay $120 for utilities, which includes water, hydro, which is electricity, plus house insurance. And now again, the second major chunk is groceries. Right, and we pay approximately 600 to $700. Uh, let's take 700 on the higher side. Yeah, and for groceries guys, there are a lot of stores here in Toronto. And in every store, there's different price range. So again, it depends what grocery store do you go to. But, but the nearest one for us is uh, City Market or Loblaws. That's where we go. And also but Shoppers Drug Mart for like small tidbits. Yeah, for like whenever eggs or milk or anything yeah. is over. So right. yeah. And next comes my internet and for internet, my service provider is Bell and it's a high speed internet because obviously, you know, I have to upload videos on YouTube. So I need extra speed for that, which is like, uh, I think one Gbps and for my internet, I pay $95. And next up, phone bills. So for phone, I have Rogers and I pay $50 for my phone plan. And in that I get 8 GB. And recently I bought a new phone, iPhone 12 Pro. And for this, I pay monthly installments. Uh, so my total phone bill comes out to be around, yeah, 145. And for Saranj, he pays. I pay $45 for my monthly phone plan and uh, $50 for my new phone and even I have an iPhone 12 Pro. So total, I pay $100 per month. Yeah, so Saranj is with TELUS and I'm with Rogers. Rogers. So in total, we pay $245 per month. And next comes our subscriptions. So there are a couple of things that we pay subscriptions for, right? right. So starting with Netflix, which is about $19. Amazon Prime, I think we pay yeah, $10 for it. Yeah, $10 and I pay for Spotify, $10. So in total. And also for Uber Eats. Oh yeah, for $10 for the Uber Eats pass. Pass as well. So in total, how much do we pay? $50, $50 for subscriptions. $50. Right. And now that we're talking about groceries, uh, let's talk about something that I'm actually embarrassed to talk about. What? Food? Yeah, you know, <laughs> Uber Eats and DoorDash and yeah, our food deliveries, guys. This is something 
I'm really embarrassed about but what can we do everything is shut outside and obviously we are not spending anything on our entertainment which would usually be the case if everything was open we would go out and all of that but that's not happening so the only thing that gives us a little happiness is <laughs> Our food deliveries. Food deliveries, but it compensates, right? Even if we go on the weekends outside somewhere, I think uh, we'll be probably spending four, five hundred dollars in a month. In a month, yeah. And uh, exactly, we're doing the same thing eating at home. So yeah, in total for our food deliveries, we are spending somewhere between four to five hundred. Four to five hundred dollars. Yeah. Oh man. Insane. That's so bad, Saranj. What are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? What are you doing? What are we doing? Peekaboo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. This is something that we are working on. We want to cook hope. Life cook is it. busy, guys. Life is busy. Yeah. She's doing two jobs. I'm doing one and a half job. Yeah. For no complaints. <laughs> totally enjoying that. But yeah, there is no other thing to do, man. So just on weekends, we order some food, watch something nice and just get happy. Yep. That's true. Happiness and little things. But we are getting there. We're changing this habit. We'll probably be cooking more now. But it's okay. We'll uh, we'll work it out. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. Yeah. Yeah. We'll try to cook some more food at liar, home. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Yeah. <laughs> and next up is transportation. So we use Presto cards for it, and this is a card that you can use for Go Transit or TTC here in Ontario. So for one person, it's one fifty-five dollars, and as a couple, we pay three hundred ten dollars for our transportation and as you guys know right now we are not going anywhere we're just working from home so we are only spending zero on this maybe uh i don't know maybe ten dollars sometimes if we take a tgc which is like i don't know once in like 10 days and that's it so for our fixed expenses which includes rent groceries utilities transportation phone bills internet as well as the subscriptions, we paid $3,520 and this is our fixed expenses which we have to incur every month no matter what. And for variable expenses which obviously it depends couple to couple how much you spend but for us it's like $500 for our entertainment, food deliveries, whatever it is right now. So in total as a couple we spent $4,000 here in Toronto. Holy moly! And, oh, I did not add the miscellaneous expenses. But we have some miscellaneous uh, expenses as well. Like uh, sometimes we buy a couple printer. of stuff for household. Yeah, printer and these frames. Yeah, random things. Random stuff. Uh, in the so house. yeah, you can consider like four hundred dollars extra per month. Three to four hundred dollars for miscellaneous stuff. But let's not count that in the basic expenses that we incur monthly. Because just to give you an idea, this is literally like the basic, basic stuff that we do. And obviously we can definitely work on uh, maybe reducing the money that we spend on our food deliveries. But apart from that, I don't think so we can change anything. So 3500 is like the basic that you would need. But I would say one and thing, let's say if we don't order food, at least we'll go out on the weekends, right? That's, that's the purpose of staying in downtown. So pretty much I would say $4,000 is what you need. I think it's the basic bare that minimum. you would yeah, it's spend the bare minimum in, that in you need. Toronto. Yep, that's right. This is what we really need every month to survive here. Oh yeah, I forgot one thing. Right now we don't have a car and we don't yeah. pay anything for the car insurance or the monthly installment for the car. So probably I think a car expense would be $1,000 extra on top of uh, what we pay right now. So yeah, you should. Yeah, whenever we buy a car, I'll definitely let you know the exact expenses. But I think that's one side that we are saving on just because we are staying in downtown and we really don't feel the need to own a car right now, to be honest. So I really hope this was helpful, guys. And yes, this is what we spent as a couple here in Toronto. And also let me know in the comment section below what part of your monthly expense that you want to improve. Like for us, it's like, yeah, the food deliveries food that deliveries, we do. Yes. Um, I mean, I'm not saying that I'm going to completely stop it, but definitely I think we can order some less food. Also guys, I would love to know in the comment section below, do you also guys do a lot of food deliveries like us? Or is there something else that you spent a lot of money on? that we don't spend on. So that's it guys. I hope this was helpful and uh, yeah, Saranj, thanks for uh, featuring in my video. No I, problem. I really had to convince him a lot. I'm pretty camera shy. I like to be behind the camera, but... But you did good. What do you guys think? 
comment comment yeah <laughs> i think you did pretty well so don't worry thank you But, and guys if this is helpful please do like the video and also subscribe ah! to my channel it would really mean a lot to me by the way so now try to you tell them to uh, sure subscribe all right guys please like share and subscribe to pikapu's channel and i'll see you in the next video yeah. bye oh by the way I think today I get brownie points because I finally got saranch in the video. I know a lot of people ask for it, so at least for saranch today, do subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.